Just about everything has a cost. Food, gas, luxury. But can you put a price on generosity? For Chris Miskell, the answer is easy. That, that's something that I don't really think about because quite honestly, I just think about how we can serve and make sure that people are healthy and strong. Miskell is the CEO of Versity Blood Center. Its operation, like many, depends on generosity. The organization recently sounded the alarm on a shortage in its blood supply. That supply not only helps individual patients, but it also goes to 56 hospitals in southeast Wisconsin. And while Versity is a nonprofit, there is a price on the blood it supplies. And so we're simply reimbursed um, for our cost to serve the community. How much? Uh, so we're not at liberty. The agreements that we have with our hospitals are under a confidentiality. We're not able to, to talk about that. Are you able to put a value on a donation? someone walking in, what is the value of their blood that they give? I don't think we can because to me that's putting a value on a life. Miskell told us those reimbursements go toward equipment and testing the blood for disease. Research in the Yale Global Health Review found by the year 2011, the average cost of blood transfused to a hospital was $210 per unit or one pint, which is the average blood donation. Medicare officials told us the price and its coverage varies based on whether a hospital has to buy blood, your insurance, the facility and type of blood. Blood which donors often give for free. But we do often uh, offer incentives. We've got a, a, a sunglass promotion now. We can give gift cards, different things that inspire people to come in and, and want to donate. Do you see when you offer those incentives more people come in? Uh, we do. We do. Do you uh, offer those all the time? Pretty consistently. So what we the try incentives? to do, yeah, the, the issue with the incentives is that they can get stale very fast. Mm -hmm. And so the magic we've learned over, year, over the years is keeping them new and contemporary and kind of, uh, kind of modulating them from time to time. Miskell calls it a delicate balance between motivation and reliance on donors to give because they want to, regardless of whether they realize the blood running through their veins is valuable. And the most valuable blood is type O because it is considered universal and widely used in hospitals and for trauma patients. It's also the type blood centers say they need most when they experience a shortage.